All right, Tunde joins me now. Baba Tunde Obushiko, he joins me. And um, so much for us tonight. Tunde, let me welcome you to the show. Always good to be here. Let's start from home. What, what, what's happening? I know a lot, a lot has been happening. Yeah, it. definitely. A lot has been happening. The Mind Games tournament, the Portacourt uh, Flaming Knights tournament, uh, a whole lot has been happening in the world of chess in Nigeria. And definitely we'll be looking at a whole lot still happening before the year runs out. And at the same time, looking towards next year, what are the big things that will be happening next year and amongst other things like that. So it's a big, big time for chess and it only looks to get better and All bigger. Right. Um, st start us off with the Flaming Knights. Well, the Flaming Knights tournament was won What's by... What's the concept? What's the idea? Well, the idea behind the Flaming Knights tournament is just for Nigerians to experience world-class tournament organization, which was in, indeed uh, experienced with the tournament in Port Harcourt. And definitely, International Master Olakwe Bumi took the win in that tournament. Out of seven rounds, he had six and a half points. Uh, only That's massive. Exactly, as in only drawing one point, uh, only drawing one game and winning the others. It was a very, very big one for the international master. Showing some... Uh, uh, what's his global ranking? Well, global ranking is still uh, somewhere within the middle, but then it's going to, be, it's going to get bigger because yeah. definitely when yeah, we have points. exactly more tournaments like this that gets players uh, geared up, it will definitely get better for Nigerian chess players because their play is certainly showing uh, better, strong uh, play and all that. And at the same time, the Chess Players Association of Nigeria, uh, they are getting ready to organize the rapid tournament, which will kick off tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Is it Sunday. same format, same concept? Well, this uh, format is actually going to be different okay. because it's going to be a rapid tournament of 10, plus five, uh, 10 minutes plus 5 seconds and it's going to be uh, a, double, uh, a double play, uh, white and black play for all the players that will be playing in each of the rounds. Mm -hmm. Nine rounds tournament actually and it's going to be very interesting to see who wins that right. tournament. And then we have the Juniors Chess Tournament that um, would be holding in December, on the, on the 16th of December, uh, it's a Saturday, 9 a.m., at uh, the Platinum All, uh, 7 Olu Fumilayo Okiki Olu off Toyin Street, Lagos. And it's going to be very interesting to see the kids that will be participating in the higher junior... Kids. Yes, kids. Higher junior section and the lower junior section. Uh, this is big, a big one Just for the kids. Just to stimulate their interest. Exactly. And make them love the game. Yes, definitely. These kids actually participated in one tournament... Uh, that was organized by these guys and it was awesome because they had a very very good reception and the tournament hall was very very interesting and it's going to be very good to see how they eventually uh, pull off this okay. next one. Well the national championships for Nigeria will be holding in January uh, considering the fact that ne uh, category? Yeah definitely uh, several of the Nigerian chess players will be going for the um, tournament in uh, the on the on the 2300 tournament that will be holding in december so the national championship was shifted to january so okay. the winner of that tournament will be the national champion for 2018 and it's going to be very interesting to right. see those that will participate in that tournament and the person that will, that will eventually become the national champion for 2018 because of the continent yeah definitely grandmaster amin basem uh, the egyptian has dazzled over the over the year and he has become a major major force in the global uh, chess industry and uh, the guy eventually moved into the super grandmaster level uh, to become the first African to enter into the 2700 category right. and it's going to be it's a big one for him what's up with Azerbaijan in Europe yes uh, the European uh, chess championships uh, held just a few weeks ago and it was very very interesting that Azerbaijan ahead of Russia won the trophy the gold medal for the event and Azerbaijan have been crowned the new uh, European champion, okay. chess champions for 2017. Right. It's a big one for them. And at the same time, the okay. final of the Grand Prix uh, series will, is currently holding and it's very, very interesting to see because right now we are having Levon Aronian who does not really need uh, to win the tournament because he has already qualified for the, uh, the candidates tournament uh, participating in this tournament. Uh, several of them have actually uh, part, uh, participated and right. quali qualified for the candidates tournament. But the top three, 
will be qualifying from this. You know what tournament. I'm going to say, so just say. You know what I'm going to say, so just respond. Magnus, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> Magnus Carlsen has shown that he is ahead, way, way ahead of everybody. Why don't everybody. you bring back Kasparov and beat him? Even Kasparov right now. Kasparov at his peak cannot even face Magnus Carlsen right now. Wow. Definitely, because this guy has shown that his intuitive capabilities, his style of play, everything that he's doing is way ahead of everybody. Right now, he's in the 2,900 category wow. in Blitz and Rapid. And this guy is actually moving very fast towards the 3,000 category. Is this guy human or machine? Does he think before he plays? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, today I, I want to thank mm. you for your time uh, on mm. uh, the show tonight. It was good having you. Maybe we'll do this again next week. Definitely. All right. I want to thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day. Uh, this is the last edition for the show of the show for the week. Uh, we'll do this again next week. I'm Ademi Adebayo. I'll see you next week.